for the, the images provided yep. the somewhere at four meters because this is this is rock for yep. sure but embedded in this brown stuff so this is these are probably bold, what boulders, boulders yeah. yeah what we saw on the surface and starting from here okay this is the main issue okay four meters is, is soil and then you have rocks then focusing on the soil you should describe uh, the major uh, at which depth you have lithological changes. For example, uh, a solid core lock would be from here to here, you yep. have fine soil, silty sand with some stones, and from here to here you have a block, then you have this fine stuff, and from here to here you have a block until yep. here, and here you have fine. This will be... Uh, As you described, yeah. yeah. Then the grain size is, for example, here this is silty sandy, this is a basalt block, so no one uh, will take a sample from here for uh, a lab test, okay. but focusing on this fine stuff. Yep. And concerning the, the bedrock, you describe uh, first if there is a, the same lithological unit, for example, this is all black basalt, what I yep. saw, so this is easy. And then you go to the, to the fractures, for example, you see here, uh, some fractures will be done by, by drilling. This yep. is a very, this is freshly broken. Right? This is due to the drilling process. But if you look at this fracture here, yep. it has a, an angle of, let's say, 50, 60 degrees versus the axis. It's yep. moderate to steep inclined. And you see, this is coated with this iron stuff. So there is sometimes water inside. Yeah. Okay. Of course, it's, it's this rusty crust. And that would describe, okay, uh, where are the main fractures? We have a, a certain index called RQD. It's already given in the borehole yep. logs. So, uh, you, you take one meter and describe all pieces longer than 10 centimeters per meter, and this gives you a certain index. And uh, But what should be also locked even beyond this is the fracture degree. It's similar to the RQD, but it's a known standard value. And this gives you the, 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 the grain sizes of all these rock pieces. For example, this piece has an RQD from 12 centimeter. But uh, it says nothing about these smaller pieces. Mm. And uh, this is a, a fracture degree, I would say, number two or three, because you have uh, a, lot of different a lot of big pieces, but uh, this is the smallest block size. Yeah. And this is quite, it's very good for tunneling. Mm. But uh, the RQD, if you have zero, RQD zero means all pieces are smaller than 10 centimeters, mm. but it says nothing more. Is it all nine centimeters or mm. is it 0.1? Centimeter, okay. you know, yeah. so the, 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 the fracture degree should be, be given in advance. It's a recommendation for you further borehole yeah. locks because if you have for a tunnel project, if you have the fracture degree like this, yeah, this mm. will be fine for tunneling because mm. some fractures will be done by the drilling process also. But if you have only very fine gravel or sands, then you should take care of the weakness zones in the tunnel. Oh, so then you best yeah. thing. Okay. But here it was just for the, yeah, the top side. Let's take a picture of the core diameter. Be careful.